Hello crafty friends, welcome back to another episode of All Things Cut and Craft. I am Abiola and you're welcome to this channel if you are new. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video and for our returning subscribers, thank you so much. I am very grateful. So today we are going to be making a tumbler and I do want to believe that you want to learn how to make it because this is a different type of cup which is in a different type i mean which is a different type of shape it's long and it's not too wide so you want to stay tuned and um don't go anywhere i will be right back so let me introduce the supplies for this project so you need a tape a scraper a weeder you also need um a scissors this is important then we need a trimmer to cut a vinyl then this is the uh, major part which is the tumbler and this is bought from Aldi no from Marshalls I think it's about seven dollars or something and this is the vinyl that is going to go on the cup then this is the transfer tape and you have a rubbing alcohol to clean the surface of the tumbler so that's the cotton so now i'll go ahead and prep my mat so we're going to be using the standard grip mat as always so i'll take the tape measure the tumbler how long and wide I want this um, cut to be before going ahead to cut out the vinyl and as I've always mentioned vinyl goes on cups on maybe canvas on some other few things and there's a way that you can um, make this last longer by adding more porch on it but I won't be doing that for this video putting in mind the measurement that I already got I'll go ahead and cut the exact measurement out maybe with about um, an inch more so I can give a li little bit of allowance so I'll cut this out with a trimmer Then I'll go ahead and place this on the mat with the shiny side hop. So I'm emphasizing this for people that are just beginning. You always want to put a shiny side hop for vinyl, but for how long home, you want to put the shiny side down and then load it into the Cricut machine and it will start its job. And um, if you need to quick cut, you're in the right place. You get to see um, a lot of videos. I mean, previous videos where I mentioned what quick cut is all about and how you can go about it. And there are links in the description box too where you can get supplies to get started. Feel free to use them at no additional cost to you. So my cut is done and it's telling me to load the mat, then I'll press the flashing button just to unload it and here I have my cut clean and beautiful so now I want to go ahead and start removing the part that I do not need so I will just remove the whole vinyl from the mat for some people use I mean some people usually leave it on the mat for easy um, weeding I just like to remove it so I can just manipulate it the way I want. So I'll just use my weeder to lift it up at the tip. I mean, the part that I do not need now, it will easily come out like so. And I'll continue to remove all other tiny parts in the middle. So I will have a very 
a nice cut to place on the tumbler. As you can see, I'm done weeding and the water are really coming out after removing all the tiny um, cuts that are not supposed to be there. Then I'll go ahead and clean the surface of my tumbler with this alcohol. I'll just get a little bit on the cotton, then clean the surface so I'll get rid of dirt and whatever um, that may be locking on the tumbler. Then you want to be sure that you are putting it on the path, I mean on the place you're going to be placing your vinyl. And after that, just trying to fan it a little bit so it will get dry. And I will set it aside. Then I will prepare my transfer tape. Transfer tape is used to lift the cord from the original backing so I can place it on the tumbler. And after using the weeder to smoothen it down, I'll start to remove the backing of the original cord carefully from the cord. I hope you get what I'm trying to say. So I already removed the backing and here I have the cord lifted with the transfer tape. Then I will carefully uh, place it on the cup. I want to make sure that it's straight and it's nicely placed so and that is it then after doing that i would also use the scraper this is a scraper use it to just smoothen it down so that it's sticking on the cup so when i pull out the transfer tape nothing is attached to it And after doing that for some seconds, I will start lifting the transfer tape carefully, diagonally, so no cord is attached to the transfer tape. Yeah, so that is it. My tumbler is ready. So I can also reuse this transfer tape on other projects, I mean for multiple times as long as it is still um, tacky so as you can see it's sticky and it's not going to move anywhere so i can add mud podge on this which i did not do for this particular video so that is it so my ready quiet your mind listen to your soul and drink your water and that is it for today's project i hope you are learning more about how to put vinyl on a cup on so many other things so this is where we'll bring the video to an end if you are yet to subscribe please do where to subscribe the subscribe button is somewhere down here click it and click the notification bell just beside it so you can get notified whenever I upload a new video and if you do enjoy this video give it a like give it a like it helps us to get um, more recommendations from YouTube and don't forget to share this video out to your family and friends and leave your comments what do you think about this video if you want to embark on Cricut um, journey everything you need is right there in the description box where you can purchase and other videos to get you started so this is your crafty friend signing out and saying quiet your mind listen to your soul and drink your water see you in the next video bye